In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install Windows 11 on an M1 Mac. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite. Do you want to run Windows 11 on your M1 Mac? Well, unfortunately, there is no way to do it natively, but you can use a free virtualization software that will allow you to run Windows 11 on your M1 Mac. And I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Office 365 to make an account. And after that, you're gonna visit the Windows Insiders Preview download page so you can download the ARM version of Windows 11. I'll leave a link in the description. And after that, you're gonna go to this website where you can download the UMT virtualization software for free. Once you have UMT installed, go ahead, open it up and click on create new virtual machine. Then click on virtualize and then select Windows. And you want to make sure these two boxes are checked off and go ahead click on browse and look for that vhdx image and click on continue and set the amount of ram that you want to allocate to this virtual machine and here you can also click on share directory you can set that up if you like and you could rename the vm as well and then you could click on open vm settings click on save and then this part's gonna take a while for it to load and once it loads, it's going to give you the VM settings. And from here on, you can make a few adjustments, but I feel like there's just not a lot of things that you can do, especially when it comes to the amount of hard disk space you want to allocate to. It's pretty much set by default. Go ahead and launch the virtual machine and it'll start the boot in process. And from here, you just got to be a little patient and just wait till it starts booting up. And we're going to see the Windows startup page or Windows setup page. And then you're going to click on all the necessary information to set up. So when you get to this uh, network connection prompt, what you have to do is there's a small workaround because you can't connect to the internet at the moment. You're going to press shift F10. In this case, on a Mac keyboard, you want to click on the, you want to hold down the function key, shift, and then F10, and you're going to get this command prompt, and you're going to type in this command. And once you type in that command, it's going to restart the process again. And this time, just click on, I don't have internet, and then continue with limited setup. And just keep on going, you click on accept, you can now enter a name for your account. Also, you're going to enter a password and it's going to ask you to create some security questions and answers. And after that, you get to choose the privacy settings for your device. And once that's done, it's going to start setting up Windows 11. Before we continue on with this video, I want to know everyone's experience with using this free virtualization software. Have you tried it before? Let me know in the comments below so I can know about the experience you have. And if you like this video, please make sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and that bell notification so you get notified of new videos. And if you would like to support the channel, we have a Patreon page now. And you can check out the different levels of Patreon levels, and there's some cool perks to each different level. And you can even support us on our Ko-Fi page. But let's get back to the video. So on your Windows VM, you're going to notice that there's no internet connectivity. That's because you're going to need to download the Spice Guest tools from UTM. Go ahead and download that link in the description and you can save it on your desktop. And when you're back on your VM, just click on that little drive button and click on change and click on the Spice Guest Tools ISO. And it's gonna launch autoplay on your Windows VM and go to File Explorer, then click on the Spice Guest Tools application. And from there on, it's gonna install the necessary tools on the virtual machine. And you're going to reboot once the installation has completed and you're going to sign back in. So I had a chance to play around with Windows 11, the ARM version in UTM. And for the most part, it feels pretty spiffy. I mean, I had no really lagging issues or anything like that. You know, it just feels like any virtualization programs that I've used in the past. It's a very fluent experience. And I was even able to play some YouTube videos directly on the VM itself and didn't really notice any issues. I mean, I was able to play the video the way it is. Uh, no audio issues. Um, back in the old days when virtualization came out, I remember 
you know, when I play videos, you know, especially high definition videos, you know, there were some audio issues, but now nothing at all. So, so far it's been pretty good. There are some downsides to this configuration. For one, you have to install the Microsoft Store manually. If you want to do that, you know, check out the UTM website and they'll give you more troubleshooting steps on how to install the Microsoft Store. And you're also pretty limited on the configuration. So memory is eight gigabytes, disk space is only 20 gigabytes. But that's how you install Windows 11 on an M1 Mac. If you want to install macOS Monterey on an unsupported Mac, check out my video at the very end. And I'll see you next time.